Thank you for joining the Advian web webinar today uh, on, on smart factory topics. And, and uh, today we'll be talking about how to boost your quality with AI powered 3D inspection. And, and your hosts today will be myself and, and Nadir. And, and uh, uh, Nadir can say a couple of words about himself in the beginning. Uh, yeah, I've uh, joined Advian since 2021. I'm a machine learning engineer, uh, have quite a bit of experience in uh things related to 3d processing whether it's images point clouds uh, 3d models anything like that yeah and happy to have this presentation yeah exactly and i'm johannes Bahanem. i'm i'm uh, in the sales side of manufacturing and, and happy to answer all the questions also also regarding these topics uh, now, later, later on also and what is Advian? If, if we are not that familiar with you, we are a Finnish IT company founded in 2019, and, and we create competitive advantage uh, with refined analytics solutions. So, so our, our customers basically are, are some of the Finland's largest listed companies, as well as globally operating ones. And, and we do edge analytics uh, in, in the core with, with location intelligence, external data. And, and uh, today we, we're talking more about the machine learning data platforms and, and this is kind of the area where where we mo work the most effective and what our smart factory solutions basically do we have kind of three three main topics here is product product quality assurance is, is the number one so what we do is we ensure quality products by automating the quality assurance processes uh, the goal here is to, it, is to capture the reality where we are at the moment and, and gain insights, control the processes and find kind of the real root causes of quality defects. And we do this by combining rich sensor data, machine vision and, and machine learning in, in the processes. So uh, the goal here is to ensure the high quality products flow even for complex products that might have lots of different things that you need to consider when, when uh, making the quality assurance. The second part is, is the product optimization. Uh, and uh, this is where the dat data is gathered directly from the production lines. And this is uh, main, uh, mainly focused on, on, on the capacity management enhancement. And, and the idea here is to reveal the bottlenecks in the production. So, so uh, we, we detect, identify and trace the materials and products in production and, and make the whole process optimized in, in that, that sense. 
And uh, the third part is the preventive maintenance part. So, so uh, the data from the production machines and, and uh, installed IoT sensors enable the AI-based predictive analytics and, and to understand when the individual machines or components are about to uh, fail. And this means that we can fix or replace the equipment with, with minimal downtime and loss of revenue. So, so we can we can maximize the usage of of the of the uh, components or machines, and, and we know in advance when problems are happening so we know that when there's a uh, big demand on, on the products we're selling the, the machines will work optimally at that time and no no sudden breakages will happen and uh, this is kind of the goal goal in that part and today we'll be answering these questions on, on the first part how can this kind of 3d inspection improve the output of your product certain line and, and the second part is what can the automated AI and machine vision powered 3D inspection do? And then we'll look at the financial benefits. Where does the financial benefits come when, when discussing about these things? And uh, I will give this, this to Nadir, and then he's on the technical side more so. Nadir, you're welcome. Hi, thanks. Uh, so first of all, uh, I have to explain what is uh, AI powered automated 3D inspection. Uh, this is basically done using a dead capable sensor. So this could be a camera, uh, such as a structured light camera, which is a camera that would project a pattern and uh, check the disturbances in that pattern to know the shape of the object and the size of it. Uh, we also have time of light cameras. They work something like sonars, where they have some sort of a laser pulse, and then they count the time it takes to come back to know exactly the distance and thus get the shape and the depth. Uh, we can also have multiple cameras. If you have two cameras, that's stereo vision like human eye. So in close distances, we can tell the depth using the stereo vision in our eyes. Or you can have multiple cameras and, then, and use something called trigonometry to find the correct shape. Uh, so this would be much more precise. This could be done with uh, either multiple cameras or one camera connected to a, like a robot arm that goes around the object. So uh, in this chart here, uh, you have simply like a simple representation of how it's done. So you have the sensor that gets data from the product and then it feeds it to some sort of a processing computer uh, with AI. So in Advian, we have uh, Edge AI, which would simplify all of this processing and uh, then you can have the results and you can do whatever you want as extra processing after that or just uh, monitor them. So, uh, why do you need to use AI? Can we do it with just uh, classical methods? So there has been methods for inspection uh, with imagery for like decades. So what is the advantage of AI? In this example, that is just uh, a simple uh, image from literature. So this is uh, a sample from an image taken on the surface of a car. So you have two cameras in the front of the car and the, you try to get the depth to know what is the, the other cars and the, the distance to a turn or anything like that. Um, so in this example, we have the first one results without AI. Uh, this uh, method is called um, binary ma and block matching. So in this block matching method, it does not use any AI, just some math to know the depth. And as you can see, it is not very accurate. It gets confused by things like reflection. It is very noisy. Uh, but in the second image, we have a result with AI. This model is called ViewNet, and it is much cleaner, much more accurate. And if you have noticed, this uh, side here on the left, that there is a what looks to be an error, but it is not. It is just because the second camera cannot see the edge so if you close your left eye you will have uh, occlusion to your in your left vision because your right eye cannot see all of the distances but with ai it can use the context from the other uh, areas to know exactly what is the depth so this is the advantage of ai is that even if you have missing data then you can have context and you can uh, improve on that something else with ai is that it can improve more the more you use it which a uh, classical method cannot do it so the advantages of AI is more accuracy and more robustness. Um, so now that we know that AI is better, uh, what can we do with this kind of AI machine vision power 3D inspection? The most 
uh, obvious one is dimension measurement. So you can get the height, length, width, area, and also the volume, which is something you cannot get without having the complete 3D shape. Um, something else that you can have is uh, position of your object, but also you can have the kind of position as compared to other objects. So if you have like a, some sort of a complex product uh, that, that has more than one object and you want them to be completely aligned, for example, you can do that. Um, you can also classify them. Um, maybe an example for that would be if you're trying to classify like food stuff, fruits or something, then you can have a, some sort of a classification model that would detect whether a fruit is rotten. And for example, that will be a little bit shriveled up or you can, or you want to have like specific sizes of fruits in specific batches or something like that. Um, you can also detect contaminants such as objects are not supposed to be there, even if they maybe wouldn't look uh, different, they would have the same color. So a normal camera cannot detect them. Uh, you can detect faults. Um, something that is very easy to detect with 3D processing is uh, deformation in the product, such as dents or bends, something like that, that may not be visible with the, like a 2D camera or can also not be visible to uh, somebody inspecting manually because it's too small. Um, you can also, because it's already constructed in a 3D model, then you can save that and use that to improve your product further or just save it in a database for further use. Uh, texture analysis. So this is important, for example, in construction. So if you have like a steel rebar and you need texture on it to be just correct to be able to stick to uh, concrete, and like the example we showed earlier in the, the car images, you can use that to get the odometry. So speed acceleration, because you can recognize objects with classification and you can just use that to know the difference um, in the size of the objects to then you can infer speed acceleration or anything with the, related to odometry. Um, so now that we know what can we do with it, um, how can it improve your production line? So it is possible to just do inspection with manual inspectors. So you can have hire someone to check the product, but this is not very reliable because a manual inspector can be affected by their tiredness, uh, uh, whether they get distracted, uh, whether they're not focusing very well. And actually this is proven by like literature. Uh, you can send us an email if you want to have the references on those, but manual inspection is from 70 to 87% accurate only, meaning it can, a manual inspector can miss up to 30% of defects on average. And that is like quite bad in a kind of accuracy measurement. You can fix that by having more inspectors, but that would just uh, add more costs and might not even be possible in your production line. Uh, as opposed to that, automated inspection does not have all of these downsides. So it doesn't get tired, it doesn't lose focus. It has one task and it keeps doing it with the same accuracy and the same efficiency all the time. Um, something else that it would help you is that because you have more consistency, you have less um, errors and you increase your output. So there is uh, less chances of having to check again or people putting claims because uh, a uh, faulty product has gone through. Um, and 3D inspection relies on most of the time on uh, remote sensing. And that's just a fancy word for you don't need to touch the product to inspect it. Uh, the reason why this is very good is because if you try, if you can, like lift the product and have to check it manually, then that would pause your production and uh, that would slow down the amount of products you can have. But with 3D inspection, you don't need to touch it. You can just quickly inspect it. And if it, for example, passes the test, then it doesn't need to stop any production. It goes quickly. Um, if you have a really accurate also cameras, so if you have really good, for example, macro sensors, then you can really, really go deep uh, to maybe submillimeter, micrometers, and uh, have like really high accuracy. Uh, this can also be good for big objects, but then you, you can only use uh, maybe less precise cameras and reduce cost on that. Uh, but also something that is better than manual inspection is that uh, with enough processing power, things can go in real time. So you can inspect things in 
less than a second or milliseconds. So whatever the speed of your pipeline, it, you can have stronger computer. So now GPUs are really powerful and you can do things uh, in real time without any interruption uh, in your pipeline. All right, so now I will uh, pass the microphone to Johannes to continue with this. Yes, thank you very much. Um, interesting stuff indeed. And then when we think about the financial benefits of, of automating the 3D inspection with, with this kind of things, Nadir already mentioned some of the, the points points here, but uh, I think the main one that, that mostly comes to mind when thinking about the financial side is, is that the automation in this level can, can decrease the need for manual labor in the inspection tasks. And, and this means either fewer inspectors or, or reallocating them to more critical tasks that where, where there could be more value added. And, and uh, as, as Nadir said about the throughput, it can be increased when, when the, the automated systems can work co continuously. So there's a uh, higher rate of inspected parts per hour compared to manual inspection. And, and the accuracy and consistency is, is increased in, in this side. So, so you'll get um, more accurate, consistent re results. And, and this means fewer product recalls, fewer returns or, or reworks in, in the uh, processes. So this is an, an uh, added kind of save. You can save, save, save the funds in, in this way. And of course, the, the faster feedback loop, it means reduced scrap and waste also with, with greater accuracy because there's uh, declining the defective parts and then this can be uh, fed back into the production that, that now that something has gone wrong and we need to change the parameters for example in some cases where where the uh, quality of, of the um, uh, starting uh, material changes so so you can have an, an uh, uh, that, that that can affect the whole production process so so we'll find out exactly what happens after something has been done to the products and, and, and we can feedback loop it back and then, then change the parameters in the production and, and save time and money in that way. And of course, the customer satisfaction is, is pretty better when we can ensure the products consistently meet the quality standards and, and it can lead to increased customer satisf satisfaction and, and, and reduce the costs tied to customer complaints and returns. So when combining all of these things, it means that, that the kind of financial benefits come come through through these parts and this is kind of the the shorter shorter version of of this presentation we are happy to discuss more about this these topics and and you can find our contact information here you can contact either of, of us and then we'll be happy to help you in in your uh, your ideas and 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 things that you have going on thank you from my side and and uh it was nice that you could join the webinar. I hope you, to see you in the next one also. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.